Now I did tell you yesterday and I did tell you last week that I was going to have a phone call, a phone chat with a young lad, a young lad, I'll call you a young lad, <laughs> Brent Duncan last week, I told you about his song and played it for you, Furry Friends. He's in the studio with me now this morning, so uh, we'll have a chat with Brent, but we're going to play one of his other songs that he's written. I'll say good morning to Brent. Here you go, Brent. Good morning. Good morning, Lynn. Thanks for having me here. You're very welcome. Anytime. So how's things? Good? Yeah, really good. Yeah. Yep. Just finished my album that I've been working on for about four years. So cool. It's, um, How many songs on that? Uh, there's 18. 18. So. Well, well done to you. And have you written all those? You know, some of the yeah. covers? Yeah, no, I write all of them myself. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is a cover of uh, Melissa Couch's Read My Lips from back in 1992. Oh, let's so, take a little way. Yeah, Good but mine's um, a country version, so it's a bit yeah, different. It's, yeah, you've, you've, um, I did see a bit of a video last night of you talking about that one. Yeah. 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 So, good for you. Now I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play now um, for you first, before we talk about the one we come to talk about, um, the robot dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is just a fun little song that I wrote. Um, it's probably sort of more, it could even be sort of like a kid's song. Yeah. Um, I think it needs some sort of dance or maybe, you know, like a TikTok Actions dance or it. something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could do that. You could get all your friends <laughs> oh, I together. Get, I think I'd need to get someone else to do it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that, that could be fun. Yeah, I did have a bit of a listen to it, but I'm going to play that one for us now and then we'll come back. This is called The Robot Dance and it's, uh, you said you wrote it, yes. It's, yeah, I wrote it. Yep. You wrote this one. Have a listen to this from Brent Duncan. I still love it a little bit, but not as bad as I used to. I used to be shocking when yeah. I used to be, oh, yeah. I noticed just then every time I just speak, I'm like, Bleh. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's normal, don't worry about it. Because that's why I try to just chat with people, because I know what it feels like. I know yeah. what it's like. Yeah. I just realised I haven't looked into my Facebook page yet. So, um, yeah, just, just be here, yeah, that's all, that's all it matters. Because we've all been there. One of the guys that's here, that's been doing it for years, and he did it in Tasmania, and he did it in lots of places. He comes in and he shakes like something shocking, yeah. you know. And the thing is that, that I've learned to come to is, you know, we're all human and we all make mistakes and we all get anxious and we all get nervous, doesn't matter who we are. Mm. So it helps you relax a bit, you know. Mm. So it's all good. There you go, Brent Duncan. Well done, that is a yeah. good fun song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, let's just stop that one because I'm just doing two things at once here and I'm quite not ready for this. But there we go, now I'll stop that. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself before we go into the next song. You, you um, live in Tarelga yeah. and, and yeah, I'm been from raised there, haven't you? Because I know yeah. Mum. Good morning to you, Shirley. I hope <laughs> you have a great day. Take care. Yes, um, so yeah, I grew up in Tarelga. And I started writing songs when I was uh, 13. And I didn't start recording um, songs until I was about 25. And I sort of started off with rock, electro um, kind of music and alternative sort of stuff. Yeah. But then in the last sort of few years, I've sort of turned to country. But I feel more at home at country because I, I grew up with that. So. Um, yeah, I feel like what I'm, the songs that I'm doing now is suits me better. I have to agree because I yeah. think I did mention to you when I listened to your song about the furry friends. Yeah. I instantly knew country is you. Yeah. 
You could feel it. You could, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stick with the country. It really does suit you. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this song I've I've got a I've been working on an album. So the last probably three or four years, I've sort of that's where it sort of started from. Um, the album's called Blue Star, and it comes out on May fifth. And um, I've also got you know the professional CDs and that made as well. So mm -hmm. um, if anyone would want to buy a copy, they can. I've got them uh, for sale. Uh, it goes online today, so you can actually order it today. And who do they go through to get one of those? Um, I've just got it on eBay at the moment, so oh, you okay. just look That's up fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Brent Duncan Blue Star album on eBay. And uh, I did try and, you know, I was going to work out um, an online store and all that, but it just, um, Too just complicated. seems a bit, it is a bit complicated yeah, 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 to yeah. get it all. Especially when you do it, like I do everything myself. I don't have a management team yeah. and, a, and a band even. Like I, I write everything from scratch, um, everything just in my head, yeah. get it all out and come up with melodies and that, do everything well myself. Done. And then, well done to you. Thanks. And then, um, and then there's all the, the, the design work as well for the album and the, the CD booklet. And you you've know, done the, all that as well. Yeah, I've done all that as well. Yeah, I look so. forward to a copy of that. Yeah, but that looks, I'm really happy with the way it looks and Good. Um, listening from the album from start to finish, it all flows really well. And, um, you know, each song, you know, it finishes and then it starts off with a new one that's kind of, they all just flow really well together. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy with um, the way that the album's turned out. It's really and good. Yeah. Well, if, well, if anyone listening um, would, would like to support you and, and get one of those, they can always phone me here if they want a copy and I can um, get in touch with you and yeah. we can, we can get them through that way. Yeah. If that's no a help. Yeah. 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 And, um, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm really proud of it, so. Yeah, yeah and so you should good. be, pat on the back. You've, you've worked hard for years. Now, can I, can I ask how old you are these days? I'm 40 next month. Oh, wow. Really? I wouldn't have said that. I, yeah. yeah. I seriously wouldn't have, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And you're one of <laughs> seven, I think Mum had, didn't you? Um, five. I'm five. The, I'm okay. the baby. Oh, yeah. You're the baby. Yeah, I knew you were the baby. Yeah. <laughs> but good. And uh, well done to Mum because she's she's uh, done a brilliant job bringing you all up. Oh, thanks. And, uh, She'd be yeah. pleased to hear that. She's a good lady. I know. I know. Her. I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to hear your song now that you wrote. I love this one. Tell, uh, give us a bit of background first time before I play it because I think it's a really interesting song. Yeah. So Furry, it's called Furry Friends. Yep, called yeah. Furry Friend. Furry Friend. Um, so I wanted to write a song about animals because I've always loved animals, mm. and I really don't like animal cruelty or anything like that. No. And I was sort of thinking how you know how can I write a song about animals and what angle I should come from and I sort of come up with an idea where if an animal could talk um, you know what would what would the story be mm -hmm. and like if he was out in the woods and he could hear gunshots going off stuff like that mm. so I've sort of made it into a story yeah. it's um it's a it's almost like a bit of a um, not a nursery rhyme, but it's sort of like a little sort of a lullaby. This it's song. a good it's song. Kind of, yeah, yeah, it's got a nice melody to it. And yeah, yeah. Well done. It's a sweet okay. song. It so. is. It is. And I did play it last week for you, and I will play it right now. It's called Furry Friend, Brent Duncan. <laughs> good. I do like it. I think it's really good. It's catchy, and it will. People will relate to it because. Most people are animal lovers. Yeah. Yeah, but you're definitely country boys. Yeah. And the feel. My sister said to me when I, I showed her one of my other songs that was a bit more upbeat, sort of. Um, um, and she said that it was reminded her of Dwight Okay, yeah. And I thought, oh, that's, I'll that's, take that's that. an honour. That's an honour, yeah. Good honour. Yeah. So yeah. it just, it just, you can sort of try to sing like others. Oh like yeah, but yeah. and but you don't need to be, you, you need to have yourself, but I know what you're saying though. Yeah. yeah. But like you, you still can, have to find your own. Yeah, but you can sort of try and sound like something oh, yeah. you want to. Yeah. 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 I listened to, Mum showed me the song that you did with Owen too. Oh. It was amazing. Oh, wow. There was a couple, wasn't there? Yeah. 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 It's, um, uh, never Grow Old. Song. Yeah. yeah, that was a beautiful song. 
Yeah, I was sort of like, I'm really impressed myself that I got the opportunity to do it with him. He's a talented young fella, good yeah. God. Yeah. You know, to have that much, to be born with that much talent, he, he's never had a singing lesson or anything. Really? Yeah, just grown up with the family singing as they do in Ireland. Yeah. And I look at him, he writes, he's starting to write his own songs, trying to. Yeah. But the instruments he's learning to play already, you know, he just puts his whole life and heart into it. Yeah. That's amazing. I said to Mama there was some parts in the song where I didn't know if it was you or him singing because it was both so similar. That's what people have said yeah. and blended in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it was a privilege for me. I mean, I've known the family, I know the family, but I didn't ever envisage myself ever singing. Like, you know, that was like yeah. on me, you know. And I had the thought one night when I was going over to him and I thought, no, don't be ridiculous, for goodness sake. And then the next night I was talking to my friends video um, in Ireland and she said when you're over I think you should do a song with Alan Mack and I never said a word I hadn't said anything and um whoops I better put that down there there you go folks that was called Furry Friends and Brent has written that himself on his take on how an animal feels and uh, well done to you. I'm sure that'll touch a lot of people because most people are animal lovers anyway, and uh, especially these days more than ever. I think they, they treat them they're a lot more yeah, like their babies. They do, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I'm <laughs> probably one of them. I reckon you would be one of those. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay if that's your thing. I just yeah. not into them sleeping in bed. Yeah, you know? I, <laughs> I just don't go that far at all. <laughs> but anyway, to each his own. Yeah. Do you do that? Let me ask you. Oh, I have two cats, so oh, I sleep yeah. on the bed. Yeah, yeah. I know. They've like got family. I got family kids and that that do all that. They're, they're like people, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good. So, um, what's your plans from here on in? Then, if this if, if this album goes well for you, I mean, I would imagine though that you're planning more songs, more albums that you're doing um, yourself. Not anything new just yet. I'm sort of. You know, it, was, it took well, a long time to get that does. one done. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And a lot of money. All yeah, yeah, that's right. It always it's, takes that money, doesn't yeah. it? And, and when you've got, like, no other support, you know, no backing to, mm. to you know, anybody sponsoring that, and I guess that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, it does. It's uh, not an easy yeah. road. And even with um, live gigs, too, because I don't really do live gigs. Um, mm. So, because I've always just sort of, I'm probably more comfortable in a studio and where I, so I can you know, get the song right and do it again and again and again and yeah. until I get it right. Yeah. Um, so the plan is to just, yeah, release it and um, see, how it goes. see how it goes, do a few videos and stuff with it, just sort of try and promote it as I can on social media and yeah. that's sort of the only way to do it these days. Yeah. So was that what, was that through Facebook? I would have seen those clips last night. I think it yeah, it was probably my Facebook page. page. Yeah, yeah, on your yeah. So that's um, Brent Brent Duncan. Is that just what you're under on Facebook? Yeah, the actual People username's want to look up. Uh, Brent Duncan twenty four. Okay. But if you just search my name, um, yeah, it'll come up. On there. Yeah, that's how I do. So, it. <laughs> so yeah. if I can do it, others can do it. Yeah. So yeah. so check him out, guys, on Facebook. Yeah, Brent, Brent Duncan, and um, have a look at his videos and he. You, you actually talk there about your songs and what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I uh, go through a few different songs and some of the stories behind them and yeah, um, yeah I like to edit videos and stuff too, that's always fun. Mm -hmm. I like um, sort of just being creative with, with lots of different things, so it's, um, yeah, it gives me something to do, so. Good, well, yeah. I might have to come and learn some stuff off you. Yeah, I can show you some stuff for sure. <laughs> That'd be good. And you're good friends with Sandy Dodd, you caught up with Sandy lately? Yeah, no, I haven't really spoke to her for a while. No, I um, haven't either. She's been quite busy and yeah. she's, she's quite private, which is fine. That's good. Yeah. yeah but uh, we are good friends and whenever we do catch up, that's... Uh, yeah. She's a very talented singer. She is, and a beautiful, yeah. beautiful, genuine person. Yeah. I'll be catching up with her, actually. We're going to Kyabram this year in November. Yeah. And Sandy will be up there, I do believe. Well, so we'll, we'll have yeah. a catch up up there. You should come on up. Yeah, yeah. whereabouts is that? Kyabram. Yeah, up that way, up, through, up near Shepparton. Oh, Victoria. Sort of that, that way, yeah, yeah. Victoria. It's in Victoria, yeah. yeah. Mm, so, okay. Oh, good, there's Country Music Weekend not happening up there. Yeah, so, oh, that'll be good. Excellent. Well, will I play this next one? Yeah, I will. I will play this other one you've got here. I just need to find where I've put it now. <laughs> I'll read my lips. Okay, oh, yeah. tell us about that one and then I'll play that. And, uh, 
Okay, so when I was about nine years old, I fell in love. Because that's a cover, yeah. That's the cover, this one, isn't it? <laughs> this is the cover, yeah. yeah. But yeah, when I was about nine years old, uh, Melissa Couts was on E Street. Do you remember the show E Street? Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she was on that, and I, I collected all of the posters, everything. Oh, so you were hooked on her. I was hooked on her. Yeah, good on And um, yeah, so I knew her music really well. I knew her whole career, you know, followed her career. And um, yeah, I just I thought, well, I wonder what one of her songs would be like um, to cover or to re reinvent it. Um, as a country version, mm -hmm. and because her hers, her music is like disco pop, yes. you know, mm. uh, 90s disco. So um, yeah, I just sort of played around on the guitar and, and see if see if it would work. And yeah, I think it's worked really well. It's yeah. I suppose okay. we'll find out in a second. We'll find <laughs> out. I'm going to play it right now. It's called Read My Lips. Melissa Couts, is that how you say her name? Couts, Couts. Silent T. Couts. Yep. But this is Brent Duncan's version, country version of Read My Lips. And if I turn the volume up, you'll hear it. <laughs> Observing and speaking. Yes, Jenny. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, no worries. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I've got it turned up. He just mustn't be quite close enough to the microphone, but that's all right. Okay. Yeah, good on you. Thanks, Jenny. Okay, bye bye. Bye. She just said that she can't hear you really good, so it must be you need to be closer because okay. I got that turned up. Yeah. Anyway, but they're hearing you. That's the main thing. <laughs> Because to me it's all right because I've got you turned up and the level's up, so. But she might have a hearing problem for all I know. She would have met you when you did that song with Sandy Dodd that we went to way back years ago. Where was that? Was that in Tarawa? Um, Yarrigan. Yarrigan, yeah, when that's I right. And sang with that yeah, that's yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Jenny, yeah, I sort of. Jenny and Doug. I was with a couple, another couple. It was you and me and Sandy and Jenny and her husband. Good. Oh, it's awesome that you've played three songs. <laughs> oh, that's all I know. I intended to anyway. Oh. I'm getting a good go while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So we'll just come back on and I'll um, wish you all the best and thank you for coming in and all that stuff, you know. It's actually been good that you came in, except because they're not here and you probably, that's a shame, but we'll, you learn, we learn stuff as we go. Anyway, see how it goes and um, how the album goes and whatever and you can come back again. Yeah. See how you're doing, see what's happening. Read my lips. <laughs> Read my lips. There you go. They are well, well done to you, um, Brent. And I hope I really do hope that that the album goes really well for you. And uh, yeah, thanks just very much, Lynn. And, and uh, yeah. thanks for coming in this morning and uh, chatting with us and telling us about your songs. It's it's um it's always better to hear the backstory of a song. I always appreciate yeah. it and, and it helps you understand it more. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah so, it's been uh, good. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. And uh, they had a couple of calls saying that they couldn't hear you very well, but 
I had the volume up, but it must be we just learned that he probably needs to be closer to the microphone. And it's all a learning curve. <laughs> and he's anxious, and we've all been there. <laughs> but it's great to have you. Say hi to mum, give her a big hug for me, and yep. tell her I'm still waiting for that coffee. Okay. We're having a I'll coffee will. catch up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all no the best, worries. and uh, Thanks, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye for now. So if you want to uh, um, get in touch with, with Brent, as I say, go to Facebook, Brent Duncan. And, or you can always get in touch with me here if you'd like to get a copy of one of his albums and support him and encourage him. Why not? Just because we can. That's what we do. Anyway, let's move right along now. What is the time? It's 9.36 and I better do some of these. There we go. Sorry that I couldn't pick up that though. Oh, they couldn't hear you properly. But anyway, they've obviously heard something. <laughs> yeah, well that's... 